Hey guys, it's Prodigy Math Pirate right here, and want to know a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to catch a mimic? Well, guess what? This is the right video for you. Stay tuned after the intro to find out. Catch yeah, my name is Prodigy Math Pirate, and that is just a very cringy and crazy name and weird name. But yeah, I post tutorials and different kinds of cringe videos, other videos on my Prodigy channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to like this video at the end if this helps you out. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to catch a mimic. The mimic is just, um, it literally is a treasure chest of Prodigy with teeth on it. And why you might want to get the mimic? Well, well, a reason why you might want to get the mimic is so that you can have a cool nickname. As you can see, my name of Prodigy is First Mate and each First Mate. That's a cool nickname you can have at the beginning of your name. If you catch a mimic, it allows you to get a name we're called Treasure Hunter. So if I catch a mimic, I can get a name called Treasure Hunter and each. So what before you get bored, let's just head on over to where you can catch a mimic. So the first step to do is you want to go over here to the ship place called shipwreck short and click play titan is there just don't click on the titan part you'll see captain eve it doesn't matter if you have to follow the quest or not you just want to head on over so what you want to do now is you want to go to the right where i'm going right here and then you want to battle this cell pet and then you want to go up these stairs over here three zero five three oh oops Okay, head on up here on broke in bow split ram past the cannons past the toy merchant. Oh, oh come on, really? How am I? Oh crap. Alright, so you want to go to diesel deck. So now you don't want to go over here towards the truckle. You want to go up here past more of the ship up here towards dive dock and yes we're going to be going under water and now what you want to do is you want to battle these two monsters right here whatever they are and we got 320 inches by the way guys if you are ever wondering if there are two apostrophes or like a quote after a number that stands for inches if there is just one apostrophe or half a quote, that stands for feet. You guys think you can kill this in one hit? So we feel good with 200 health. Let's go. Let's go. One hit to kill. Another epic attack, but not yet so. Let's go. Time to go underwater. You can't grab these seashells. I don't know. They're just for design. Into the whirlpool to sand town. Let's go. So here is the thing for this part. See this um hole right here? This hole right here looks like a hit thingy. So yeah, well if you uh, if this is open for you, you can go through there. You can meet me on the other side. If this is not over over for you, you can go up through here after you battle the funky. But the thing is, if you go from here, you won't find the first method. There are actually two places in Shipwreck Shore where you can get the Mimic. One is, if you go up through here, to deep water, then you might go here for a mission. Deep water takes you to this place where there are two paths. And so, in, in one of the missions, you go to the left over here. And if you are coming here to Broken Ship Bed for a mission, it won't... This mimic right here won't pop up. Instead, an aquarium will pop up if you're doing it from a mission. But if you're not me, if you're not doing it from a mission, the a mimic will most likely pop up along with the cloaker. If a mimic does not pop up, you may need to refresh the page. So what you could do is you could just go over here, pass this cloaker like right here, go ahead and battle this mimic, and then catch the mimic. That is the first method on how to catch a mimic. The second method takes you even more deep into the ocean. You're gonna have to battle this equester and go up through here. And if you haven't already realized, they already changed the end screen to make it look like this. 
you collect the member stars. This may only happen if your Prodigy account is new. Different screen like this. That's some cool new update. So now once you're in deep water, you wanna go up here. I said, Sand City. All right, so you're gonna have to battle these two monsters. Well, guess what? You don't have to. There's a little trick to get skip by these two monsters if you're lazy enough to do that. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. What do you want to do? You actually can skip both of these monsters. You need to go down here, way over down to your past is a question. It doesn't really matter if you battle the monster. To this orange seaweed. Then what you want to do is you want to point your mouse right below this green gate thing. Remember, this all has to be very accurate. You can go right here, up to the top. And there you go, you can pass that a quester and funky. You will go to Chef and Ship Ray. Now, if you did take the portal from Fort or oh, whatever, you may end up here where we are right now. All you need to do is battle one of these monsters. I will water battle the Gennady, which is right here. And then you want to go down. Yeah, and here's the thing if you about going down this ramp right here. If you have not completed a water shipwreck short, you may I mean the water quest of shipwreck short, you may not be able to access this place. Instead you may want to go to the first area like we requested. But for people who want to do this, if you're on away from a mission, one of those long missions, you can do this. Because you don't have to go all the way down. So, if ink is available for you, you can go through here, do these caverns, which are really boring oh uh, they're not even enemies to battle here this is where you battle the old one the final boss of super mountains that door which i use my mouse just scored around right there cargo hold there's a member chest go up through here the other there's just a light here you got to upper deck and of course you better want to go up here not to the left to the ivory trip house but up here towards the crows next and there is not a lot of monsters to battle and yeah here's the crow's nest a new tour but this is not a prodigy tour we're just gonna go up here to the far beach there are some really good label places here down out of the ship into this whirlpool again you're going underwater again whirlpool hopefully you get sucked in and survive what <laughs> seaweed skysapers i don't know why it's called that but here it is the second mimic which you can battle and catch just saying you might come here for a mission from shipwreck shore from captain eve and if you are a very curious person you might even want to head down out of here to this little path you may have not noticed what is this path you say oh look it's a secret shore space and then i think there's like stuff here and there's a Another chest you can open if you're wanting to collect a non-member chest. Out of this chest, you get a wand called Moyonta's Blade. It does 30 damage bonus. And I can show you because I already have it. Let me just see if I can find it. Um, it literally looks like a sword you can use for fencing. And yeah, don't read the description. It's kind of creepy. So yeah. And so guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. And I hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and I hope you do. And I do post tutorials, lots of them. And I'll see you all next time in another Prodigy video.